posted this on our blog a while ago that I had this problem with an external hard drive. It was called a cyclic redundancy error. It's just crazy. And I was so freaked out because we had so many awesome pictures on the hard drive and it just died and it was driving me crazy because I was reading all these posts, I was trying all these things and nothing was working. So here's what I did and here's what uh, worked for me. I went and opened a uh, DOS prompt. You do that by going to your start menu. You can't really see this on your screen here, but you go to your start menu down in the bottom left hand corner and in the search you're going to run a CMD or a command screen CMD and that will give you a window that looks something like this right and then you're going to run check disk so what you're gonna do is type this check disk and then you're gonna check whatever uh, drive you're actually wanting to check so you're gonna type that right into uh, thing here. Now I've already done this and I don't have a problem anymore so I'm not going to run it actually but I'm making this video to show you how to do it. So run check disk. You might have already done this but here's what I did differently. It's going to come up with a thing. The message is going to say Windows found problem run but then it's going to give you this message. Um, run check disk with the F slash F option to correct these. So you can run this. Check disk the name of your drive whatever your wherever your drive is and then slash F for fix for me it corrected the problem so this was the message that it gave me run check disk with the F option to correct these and then it pulled here and it corrected it for me and it fixed the hard drive and I could access all of the files now I immediately moved all of the files off and you'll want to do the same thing move them off of that drive because that drive now is no longer usable for the moment that I needed it and to get the files off of there I was able to do that so I would recommend removing all of your files after the fact run that check disk and then run slash F which is slash slash fix the slash F option and see if that fixes it for you. If it does, I hope you will give a positive thumbs up on this video. You know, come around and visit us at carryandjonathan.com. We are traveling around the world, always, always very interested in hearing from lots of people, and especially if we've been helpful for you. Really appreciate hearing from you. Thank you very much.